Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Jetway BA210 Pro AMD motherboard. This is an AM3 socket board for the latest Athlon 2s and Phenon 2s that I've been reviewing, for example. And I thought I'd try installing a new AMD CPU onto this system board, which um, did not require any BIOS upgrade, comes ready to go. 785G chipset, by the way, in the North Bridge. Very interesting, uh, the heat sinks here, as you can see, on top of the voltage regulator, those solid state capacitors, so it's high quality. We've got two PCI Express 2.0 slots, one orange one there, which is the uh, X16, and the other one's going to run at 8X, and a PCI slot, and two more PCI Express 1X, and then right underneath those, you've got this wireless mini adapter that comes there installed on this system, this model that I've received for review. Below that, you've got a heatsink covering the Southbridge chipset, and uh, along here at the bottom, you've got the plug here for the motherboard power, which is underneath those four colorful slots that you can see there. And then beside that, you've got an IDE connector. Okay, so that's pretty standard if you still have one of those. And uh, the jumper there, the orange one for resetting the BIOS, and six SATA slots. So you've got the, the uh, plugs there, the connectors for six SATA 1, SATA 2 compatible. On the side here, you've got a power button there. If you're tweaking, doing some overclocking, you've got the headers for USB, of course, your floppy if you still have one, fan header connector there, and the audio headers as well. So everything is uh, pretty much standard. We've seen this before on the Jetway boards that I reviewed. Here's another view again of those PCI Express 2.0 slots. If you want Crossfire or SLI, this board will support it, of course. And uh, just below that, you've got that mini wireless adapter that the Pro Edition comes with here that I'm testing today. And um, basically, it has two holes on the sides that you would clip on these cables, these wires, and then fasten it to your um, slot and uh, attach two antennas. I'll talk about that at the end of the video, actually. This board needs a 8-pin power connector on the top right corner as well. And it has an optional Molex uh, connector behind these um, this heatsink. So very interesting design there, the heatsink with the pipe going from uh, one uh, portion to the other there to dissipate some heat. There's the 4-pin uh, Molex connector that I mentioned and another fan header connector. And, um, well, looking at it from the back, you've got optical and coax. You've got HDMI, DVI, and VGA for that uh, integrated video that it comes with, the 4200. Standard USB slots, Gigabyte LAN, eSATA out and the 8-channel audio as well. So pretty complete uh, support there if you're not getting any additional cards or adapters. Here's the uh, back of the Kate, of the um, motherboard, by the way. I'm going to test this with a brand new CPU, the 910E. This is actually something that I'm going to re review next. So uh, please watch my uh, next review coming up soon on the 910E. This is a really low power saving Phenom 2, which comes at 2.6 gigahertz default. And uh, this system board did ha had no problems detecting it, and it runs very smoothly, very easy to set up, and uh, it's running very cool. Only 23 degrees Celsius on uh, basically no load, as you can see, very little load, 23 degrees Celsius. So, wow, I'm telling you, when I overclocked this to 3.3 gigahertz from 2.6 it only went up two degrees to 25 degrees Celsius. So again, this board has definitely good capabilities for overclocking if you're looking for something like that. Look at the uh, the voltage. I didn't even have to increase it to uh, 1.175 uh, 1 volts. I got 3.1 uh, gigahertz, as you can see here. And uh, we're gonna even push it further in my next video when I uh, review the CPU more in detail for you, okay? So as you can see here, this board supports Good memory timings, quality parts, definitely can overclock it, runs in Windows 7, no issues there, not bad board at all. It's a mainstream board, right? Just uh, keep that in mind. This is not like the top of the line board from Jetway. It's a mainstream board, good support, comes with the standard uh, cables and connectors for your SATA, IDE, and the IO Shield plate and the driver's CD. That's about it. And uh, here are the two antennas that it comes with if you have the wireless adapter. Okay, so if you got that option, then um, you would need these uh, two, and then you would attach it. Of course, like I mentioned, there's there's this cable that you would attach to those holes on the board. You'd clip them on there, and then fasten the uh, antennas to the plate that it comes with. So obviously, you have to 
run these through the hole there and then on the other side just screw the um, antenna on and then that's it okay so not bad at all detected in a Windows 7 no issues there and um, very solid board okay basic board mainstream good stuff from Jetway not bad at all definitely recommend it and I'd like to thank Jetway for providing it and I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching